Hello, my name is Brianna B and I am a future licensed massage therapist. I start school um, in just a couple of days and I am very, very, very excited to take this step in my life. Um, and for my first video, I just wanted to go ahead and share um, some of the reasons why I've chosen massage therapy. Um, what I'm kind of hoping to get out of this experience and um, what I'm hoping to specialize in inside of massage therapy. Um, so the first reason, um, just like anybody who goes into any kind of medical or health related field, I want to help people. I want to help people to relieve stress, to feel better, um, for their bodies to function more healthfully. Um, I'm really looking forward to being able to help people to just get more out of their lives. Um, the next reason is to create stability for myself. I've never had an actual career. I've had several jobs in several different fields and I'm ready to kind of take the next step and find a specialty and, and, you know, just build something for myself. Um, so the next thing um, is to kind of just go into a little bit more about how I found massage therapy and why I think this is really um, the career path for me. Um, a few years back, um, I was taking a self-improvement course um, that was several months long. And one of the homework assignments that um, was given to us in this course was to read a handful of books, one of the books being The Five Love Languages by Dr. Gary Chapman. And it is a phenomenal book. I highly recommend it. If you haven't read it, go read it. It is amazing. It's a it opened up so much for myself, um, who I am inside of relationships with other people, with myself. Um, it really, it really just opened up my mind to kind of understanding a lot more about myself as a person. Um, so out of that, I discovered that my love language is physical touch. And I kind of started to do like a little bit more research into why touch is so important for humans. And um, then it kind of just stopped there. It kind of just laid, just kind of laid dormant in the back of my mind for a while. Um, and then not too long after that, I had a friend say, hey, why don't you go into massage therapy? And the seed was kind of planted. Um, it was, I don't even know why we were having this conversation. I don't remember any of the context. I just remember that he said, hey, why don't you do this? And it kind of started to bounce around in my head a little bit. And um, I decided to go and check out a few different massage schools. Um, I took a couple tours. Um, but the one that I really remember like most vividly, um, this one place that I went to the coordinator and they were very, very, very nice. Um, and it seemed like a very lovely school. Um, and it's not the one that I chose to go with when I finally was ready to settle in and go back to school. Um, but it was a very, very impactful meeting. Um, one of the things that was mentioned is uh, the coordinator, I guess, or the recruiter. Um, it was a private college, so I don't really know if what the what her actual title was. I don't. It wasn't like a guidance counselor, um, is where I'm trying to go with that. Um, so one of the things that she mentioned is she was lif listing off like the different modalities of massage. And like the different things that they learn in class. And she was showing me some pictures of, of other classes. And one of the things that she mentioned was infant massage. And that kind of like that seed that had already been planted 
started to really grow roots at that point. And it just seemed so interesting. So I kind of started to do a little bit more research into infant massage um, and why that that might be important. And um, I mean, one of the one of the areas is for premature babies, uh, making sure that they have skin to skin. Um, and then the other thing that isn't really talked about, or I guess it is, but I'm not a parent, so I haven't experienced it yet. But just the 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 I guess well I guess for me like I just never really experienced anybody talking about how important touch was for babies and how awesome massage can be for the bonding between a baby and a parent um, especially in those early years of development um, and there's so many studies there's I mean, it's not just some talking head who hasn't had her education yet or anything like that. But if you actually look into, um, you know, there's there's studies of children who grow up in foster care without any touch. And then they, they get placed in a with a family. And now all of a sudden they're getting hugs and love and attention and care. And they literally grow like six inches in a crazy short amount of time. It's, I can't remember all the numbers off of the top of my head, but that's, that's the kind of thing that I want to bring to the world is that ability for growth. Um, so out of doing this research um, and in talking to um, another friend of mine um, who is a licensed massage therapist, um, and has been for several years and has decided to go into birth work as a midwife. Um, she suggested that I become certified as a doula um, in order to kind of have like a, another another certification um, to, to help out women and, and children at that time of their life. And at first I just brushed it off. Like a doula is just like some woo woo. I'm not like, I'm not that kind of person. It's not for me. And then I started to research what a doula actually is and how beautiful um, that that person gets to be uh, for another human being. You know, it's um, for those of you who don't know, a doula is essentially, um, essentially like a, a birth coach for a couple as they're bringing life into the world. So she's not there. It's it's not a midwife. The biggest difference is that a midwife is is the medical side of things and is typically there for the baby. They would be doing the same function as an OBGYN. What the doula does is help to coach the mother and the partner through the birth, um, help with pain management, um, and kind of just be like another, um, well, first like a grounding energy and then also an advocate, um, for them in the birth or the delivery room, you know, and make sure that their birth plan is followed as closely as possible. And also to, um, kind of help explain what's going on, um, to, to give like a deeper, or another, not necessarily a perspective, just to be there for more information to help them to make whatever decisions um, need to be made in that moment. And to just be able to be, you know, like not, not the parent, not the person whose life is about to change entirely and is changing right now and is going through trauma and is expected to make whatever decision could be expected to make in a birth room or in, in the labor room, whatever we want to call it, um, you know, to be like just somebody there that can help you to calm down and focus. And here are the options. Here are the risks. Here are the, you know, the, the pros, the cons of, of what could happen here. Um, so I found out about that and I was like, I see <laughs> where I can really marry these, these two awesome things, you know, bringing massage therapy to 
a, a mother who is going through contractions and then um, being able to, once the baby's born, act as a postpartum doula um, and support her in the transitional time of her life and also help the father to connect to the baby through baby massage or infant massage is really like where it kind of like ended up going for me. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me. And yeah, so that's kind of, that's where I'm at. That's, those are my goals. So it is currently January 3rd right now. By the end of the year, I plan on being a licensed massage therapist. And if not a certified doula, then very, very well on the way um, to that goal, to that end goal. So yeah, that is going to be it for this video. I hope that you will take the chance to follow me along on this journey. Hit the subscribe button below. Um, give me a thumbs up if you got something out of this. And I will see you in my next video.